Hello, everybody. What's going on? No one can see me right now because the camera's not working. This is what happens when you go live while people are still playing a game. But uh, this is Chris Nirvana Tool here with live coverage of the finals of Build a Warlord 2. And I am joined by our contestants. First, uh, first timer in the finals. So let's start with Sangington. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. And then uh, the other opponent, we're not going to let talk. Um, so that'll be the end of him. Uh, he's just very hungry. That's all you know. I got to take a... Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Midge? Uh, wielding yo, yo. fat talk. And Sandy's running Terrace. And uh, I am joined by my co-commentator. Um, this is a very Jersey cast, is it not? Uh, it's got to be when it's the finals. There yeah. you go. Forge cake in the flesh. Well, no, not really. But uh, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Yeah, he just just got his PC back. Yeah, just yeah. got his up and working. So let's break it. Ooh, here we go. We got a gifted sub right off the bat from Juanski. Thank you very much. Who the fuck is Juanski? <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? Another um, shitty dev player. Yeah, there's a whole lot of them. He doesn't want. He doesn't want any part of. Sir oh, never mind. He's not stream. Can't talk about it. He doesn't want any part of this thing that doesn't exist. Anyway, I'm trying to get my camera to work. So if I'm what we're doing here in, you know, in, in the business, it's called vamping. It's really where you, I just say a whole bunch of words that mean nothing just to delay until my camera can magically turn on, which it is not doing at this moment. But it's going to turn on now. There we go. <laughs> and now we can see me. We got there, folks. So anyway, um, me and Bobby are going to jump into another voice chat and uh, let these fine folks play it out. Um, but Bobby and me will be here to give you the play-by-play, -play and I think this is going to be pretty quick. Yeah, so. a whole total of 10 minutes. <laughs> if that. Do you think it's going to be faster than when we, me, me and Bobby commentated uh, Wes's oh, match? I don't know about that. Like, I don't I don't know. Know. <laughs> it was done in like three minutes. <laughs> Okay. Oh no! It was game, turn two MLM, then turn one MLM. Oh, we we're, were so we prepared for to commentate for hours. It was done <laughs> done in a minute. I had notes, like I was ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Chat. Yeah. Uh, or okay, we already see Captain's already started. Chat. Let us know how many minutes do you think this will go? Um, if we if we get someone real close, I, I I may go walk across the room for an extra pack, but we'll see. Um, so everybody start guessing. But um, with that, I think, uh, Bobby, you and I can retreat and let these uh, fine folk play. So, yeah, absolutely. Gentlemen, good luck. If you need any ruling, just jump into the voice chat that we're in and just be like, blah, 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 and then we're good to go. Okay. Thank you, guys. Good, good luck man. and have fun. All right, Sanji, let's rock and roll. Do good this. luck. Good luck, my yes, friend. Yes, good luck. And we will get back to them later. Uh, but for now, we shall see how it goes. They've drawn their hands, and uh, Bobby, what do you think? Uh, I know, in, I know, in testing, Sanji had the advantage against Fakid, but I don't know. Fakid does have the tendency to get like the card he needs. Like we do know, he runs like one shift in the deck, and that could do something. Ooh, that paradigm shift once he gets yeah, to the second rank one. after killing a, tro a Trogod. Yeah, that's the, that. that could... I think because there's nothing. I don't think there's. Uh, I guess he could rescue it. Like saying you could rescue it, but uh, I don't know. It, it's this in all testing. Sanji definitely had the advantage. In fact, it's starting out aggressive Ooh. already with uh, the the twenty on the Trogod, and Sanji does Sanji not react. Does not react with the Trogod. All and, right, and we see why because he drops a Dragon Buckler. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Pull the strings on probably the Trojan. Most likely, right? I'm just starting a yeah. timer because we didn't have really a <laughs> game going. So now he's taking away Sanji's movement. There it is. That uh, That is exactly what Fakka needed to do was to slow this deck down. See, Fakka, all week in our group chat, Fakka was downplaying talking like oh yeah i'm gonna lose whatever or sanji you want me to just let you win or whatever and then here he is fat kid sitting here trying to <laughs> plan out his attack knew exactly this is what he does though this is what fat kid does every single time never believe a word that midge says to you anyway this goes to everybody not watching a, not a single word never believe anything he says 
<laughs> Unless it's like a threat to you, <laughs> then believe it. <laughs> rules question. You already have a rules question? What's up? Uh, I kill Trogid with my Brian Fiend after death. I can move myself up. No. Um, no. I got it. I, I mean, think... I don't think so. Is Because from what I see, the uh, Fakin needs to react after that because it's like before death after that, like it's still under his control when he reacts yeah it, ha it hasn't it, react. yeah it hasn't left play it's not in the I'm it, yeah because i'm the one that's reacting i own it gotcha. yeah yeah he's, that was your left to control after death yeah, yeah he is still yeah. in play and under fact it's control he's that's fine not until you're in your discord pile okay. and you can't gotcha. react in the discord pile unless you're monsieur right. diplomacy yeah i'll take it all right see thank you guys you. thank you Already with the rules questions. <laughs> Two minutes into the match. I know that adds the time now. That six minutes is looking tough, Cap. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, we got a. I think I get alone. Just making that play is definitely gonna, you know, buffer out this time. Like that was mostly just Sanji winning in that six minutes. You know. Juwanski's saying we got it wrong. Are you a hundred percent sure on that, Juwanski? I don't think we got it wrong. Anyone other than Juwanski who who's gonna? What do you mean no? Like, like how can you, how can you react when you don't own the card? He's like thirty percent. Okay, ignore him. As ah. always. All right, so we see Fat Kid shooting with the Makusag Cavalry, uh, a reserved card, because you don't want it to start and play in rank two, and instead, the build a warlord ability that Fat Talk has chosen just lets you just drop it into rank two. That is definitely one of the better build of warlords that were added this uh, this time, the version two. Oh yeah, for is, sure. Is the siege one? I think it's disgusting. I think there were only two who ran it. I know Faka did, and then uh, Yotaka. Yotaka Fish did. Yes, but he made a, a, a boo boo and making himself level four. Correct. <laughs> so harder to bounce your uh, level like four they, sieges. They, yeah, they had like I him and uh, Faka had the identical warlords, except uh, Yotaka's was a cleric. And he was level four. <laughs> Jumanski's saying, the react happens after death, dies, goes to the yard. React happens. Well, only a fat kid would react. No, In fact, it's not going to react because he has no monsters to move. Because it's still fat kid's card. All right, we see uh, me getting notifications. Uh, and then we see... Did we just see a paradigm shift, or is... I don't know what just happened right there. Uh, I guess he's not falling up West Wind. He's going to fall up as a Oiler. Yeah, that's that's an interesting call. This could just be Sanji like, yeah, let's get rid of this. So he's already down to 1 HP. He just passes. So four cards. Sanji leaves. Uh, he's probably thinking to save the monster so he could kill the West Wind and go for the second rank gotcha we see him throw away a dragon buckler and the divine protect divine protection and guidance that is spicy i think that's a scoop by sanji yep yep there we go so game one goes to midge let's get that updated for you guys first game was four minutes about five minutes so, because I have 4.30. I started a little late, though, my little timer. But we're already looking pretty good there. All right, game start. Start your timer. Sanji gets initiative. Like, I watched a bunch of Sanji's games throughout this whole tournament. He's been uh, just destroying things. Close games. Like, a lot of them were very close, but they've been, like, turn one wins. Early turn two. And Fat Kid probably had one of the best defeats of this entire tournament from the Vasquez killing strike. Oh, yeah, that was great. Marochan pulled. That was amazing. <laughs> that was my favorite loss that I've ever seen Fat Kid have. So we see some buffs here. Uh, Wheel of Death into Temple Lore into a second Wheel of Death. So Fat Kid's just going all out in the front rank right now. Double Wheel of Death is always a oof kind of draw at first, but... He lost two Severs. He did lose two Severs. That's going to be big. Ooh, Sanji's just going straight for the attacking. 
No multi wounding, no extra strikes. Besides, that, like his bloodthirsties. That is interesting. That's a 21 AC Gunda, too. Well, that third one will hit. Do we see a no priz? Yeah. Double no priz. Okay. Interesting call by Sanji. I guess he doesn't want to go to the front wheel death. But it doesn't matter if you got five. You have, what? He have five or eight AC. I don't even remember. Um, he is eight. Yeah. So like going to the front either way doesn't really matter. Everything can hit you. So it's weird. Uh, you just kind of go up and then I guess no prisoners of second rank and then just murder fat talk. But we'll see. So far he's 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 doing pretty he's good doing, with these. He's hitting them because this goes off his base strike. So we'll see. Uh... 16 plus 21s with the strikes. Does it go with the base or is it, nah. I think so. Uh, four melee strike targeting any characters that were adjacent to the original target with minus three pound. Yeah, because it's not like Bloodthirsty where you use the same attack bonus. It's just before melee strike. Interesting. Sandy rolling some twos now. I think that was with the Binding West win. But Sanji did all right there. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, Celtic saying that strike hit both Gundas, yeah. All right, so what do we got here? A dead Trogid. And then <laughs> Brian Fiend trying for the altar. Trying to do something. Let's see, Fracky with a Makusag Calvary. Now, this is Fat Kid's chance to recover. We gotta see. He survives the initial onslaught. Okay, he's building back characters. That's pretty good. Calvary's taking a shot. And <laughs> Sanji just rescues it. There you go. He doesn't need that skill. Remove three strikes Chances from the board. Three of them. Leaves himself open to be bounced, but I don't think that's gonna happen anyway. Um... Because that's the only real... Yeah, he's in, he's in a good position to not worry about getting bounced right now. Yeah. We see Fat Kid chuck the Staff of Secrets to Torin Yeskor's ability. Don't need Staff of Secrets against Sanji's deck. Doesn't. I don't think he really has any draw. I think he just kind of draws uh, what he needs. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> we see Fat Kid peeping. Probably looking for another character. I think rank stability is Probably very key. Probably War Plow. I can see him grabbing that right now. Yeah. Get the two plus 18s going for the front. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Probably going at the temple, just trying to take that out. Yeah. Um, so we'd probably see him take that. I mean, if it was there, I think he would have just snatched it, unless Fakid's doing his overthinking, which he does from time to time. But, um... Take the Lukat Warplow, stun up Torn to the front, play the Warplow in two, spend the altar, move Warplow up, and roar. Yeah. That would be that would be the ideal for him. Unless he just goes like Black Sand Cannon and just goes for the hit on the temple. That's also an option. Yeah, he's got options. Or, or Steam Ram, which is... Oh, card Steam Ram's been like Fackett's MVP this entire tournament. Yeah, exactly. Steam Ram we did not even know existed until we start looking into all level 3 sieges. And Steam Ram, very good with everybody who's like preparing for strikes. Anyone who's not preparing for DC checks at all this low skill, Steam Ram can be a two-wound ability right there. So uh, we have a question from the audience from a Woodrow Hood Forge Cake. Default strainer gasket, plumber's putty, or both? Oh, uh, plumber's putty. <laughs> there you go. All right, here we go. We see the steam ram come out and hit the temple for two. Um, so, again, very as we said, steam ram getting really solid equity. <laughs> Uh, it's two wounds. It's 15 AC. The card, the card's really been doing work for Fack at this whole tournament. I would say like that and Black Sand Cannon have been really good for him. Yep. And ooh, we got a good roll from Sanji, so it avoids it. Statistically speaking, that should have been. Oh, I, oh, he split it up. We see because Sanji rolled twice now. I'm surprised. I thought Fack was going for for two wounds on the Ryan Fiend. I guess he wanted to try and uh, set it up a little bit, but. Sanji survives the double wheel. Fat Kid survives the attack. So, this is interesting. 
Vaku rolls an eight. Sanji loses initiative with a seven. Ooh, that's not good. Are we seeing a Zen's attention right now? No, the altar swing. <laughs> And he oh no! Ooh, that's probably on Jinkini if I had to guess. It had to have been. There's no way he would go for Bryfeen or remove a charge for it. No. Sanji got to take his time and figure out what he's doing here. Wait, why is Torin spending? I think oh. he, he readied him, so I think he. I'm hoping he just spent him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Judge. Messy board state warning on Vakit. Uh, like true story though, Vaki used to get warnings for that all the time, all the time back in the day. Yeah, he he never straightened his ranks. Didn't know didn't know where his rank one and rank two started. All right, we see Sanji swinging at Dude, the altar. Sanji going in, going aggro with his six characters that he has in the deck. I do something. How does an altar attack? Jared, you of all people should know how tables attack human beings. Uh, Steam Ram. Probably going what for do you think? I think I think he's going to go for two on Brian Fiend. He should. No, nope, oh. just the one. Okay, he still gets value. So that's good. <laughs> Ooh. That's as much just 2 HP for now as anything else. <laughs> so he's got to be careful with the Brian Fiend dying. He won't have any more monsters left. That's true. And I, I think he runs a few in his deck. Like a few other ones. There goes the Brian Fiend. Yeah, I don't know. Does he have spare Jinkinis? I think he does. Temple holds. Giant Strength Potion giving him some offense. This is where I'm waiting and for Fakid to go Exhaustion Bounce, stun you. Yeah, that, that's a Fakid special right there. Yeah. Because Fakid's got five cards in his game, so. Ooh, there we go. We got a sub from Woodrow. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. 18 months. Look at you go. I can never sub for myself anymore i show up and someone has gifted i know it's such a problem that i have such a generous viewer <laughs> so we see fat kid pitching the con flag to torin we'll see what he's looking for let me get that out of the way just so you all can see <laughs> everybody runs tor that's true that's a monster <laughs> Celtic wondering if he's at the 22 minute mark. Hold on, let's see. And that was a very delayed sound effect. I don't know what happened with my sound effects guy. Uh, I think we're at like 14 and a half. We're getting close. Yeah, we're still far away from that hour, though. Yeah, Celtic put in the uh, the word to Fathead, like, you know, take a dive a little bit. Like, take your time. Sanji getting an attack off and into a no priz just to put some pressure on. And that was from the Giant Strength Potion. Two cards left to Fat Kids 4, and we see a Jackals. Jackals come. Uh, I, would, I would assume after that Giant Strength and only no priz, or Sanji's hand is probably like those uh, like monkey spas or something like that. Could be. Another Steam Ram. Well, that ram's going to take out that temple. Or Fakid's about to pull the strings of temple. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Uh, well, no. if, if Fakid lives... Then, oh, there you go. But if Fakid lives... Uh, I mean, Sanji lives... I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, there's no altar, so he will get it back. Yeah, that's two, though. Jinkini trying to remove one of those wounds. He moved it the wrong way. Steam ram for two. That should do it. I don't think that's enough skill. Yep. That's it. That's game. Oof. Oof. Brutal. Brutal. 16 minutes. So 19 so far on the stream. That is true. And there was a, a long introduction, guys. But damn. Midge wins 2-0. Oh, 
he finally actually won something. Yeah, that game one was impressive with that uh, attacking full strength. <laughs> oh, look. Are they here? Uh, I thought you had three rescues game one. I drew that second turn. You pulled the strings first turn. Oh, okay. I was about to say, well. Oh, no. If I had, I would have used it in a heartbeat. So, yeah, I thought about a lot of strategy yeah. versus your deck. And if I win initiative, swing a trog, and you don't use it, I know you yeah, have. That's how you do it. You, you know you have to have that level 8 item. Yeah. And I can pull the trog it or have a chance. I was, I was like a strat if I drew it. It worked out that time. So, is, is that why you're happy we delayed a week to, to play this game, Fat Kid, so that you can go into the into the film room, review the tape? I went, I went to the film. I mean, you've seen our chat. I was, giving, I was telling Sanji to focus. But, yeah, you know, I thought a lot about it. Like if I win initiative, swing a trogged, he doesn't use it, boom. I know he's the level eight. He's got to play it. I got a chance to pull the strings if he doesn't have rescue. Yeah. That was my plan. We were waiting for the once uh, Sanji equipped giant strength potion with just the tempo holding. We were waiting for the exhaustion bounce stun move. That, that's what I was. That's what I pitched Torn for. I pitched the con flag to get an exhaustion, and I, I ended up picking another con flag. It was all. Nothing really good. I was waiting for that exhaustion. There we Divine go. guidance every hand, <laughs> but didn't need it. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah so that was in. Oh, it's already scooped up. Divine. It was divine guidance and yeah. what? Like divine what's that? protection and guidance. Divine it's defy the chains. I'll, I'll drop it into the. Uh, yeah, like let me oh, jump into your chat. Not divine it's guidance. It's uh, after yeah. a character gets spent or stunned from an opposing card effect. You, you ready the character. The anti davenous tech. Okay, there you go. It's good. There it is. With all with all these filthy damage. We all built this up together. We're like, we need to stop exhaustion. We're like, this card. I'm... Yeah, I took my five minutes to look up a card. I already found this card. I've never <laughs> seen this card right. in my life. I talk shit about it. I'm like, actually, it works. This is exactly what we need. There you go. And that works. And with Jinkini's Gen the only one who can play it, though. Yeah. Well, Jinkini, yeah, there's, there's three Kardak Vashes in there somewhere. Which I haven't seen in the entire event. Look, I mean, he made it to the finals. You monkey paws, primal rage. You stop this, stop exhaustion with this. The game's over. You're just gonna go yeah. nuts. <laughs> Five many, strikes, two and three. How many characters do you run in your deck, Sanji? I think there are thirteen or fifteen characters. Okay, so yeah, that, and everything else is strike generation or protection. Yep, yeah, because we we saw what was happening in terms of uh, just uh, like you stunning up that game you want to keep that monster around just in case that's what we were assuming was going on there right yeah exactly because if i can get bear soul or giant strength then i can start reaching over just because i got the bloodthirsties the no prisoners that one i rolled was <laughs> it was beautiful <laughs> like i'm like all right oh, I, good. Just, I just double okay. i double kill the monster i mean the jinkini and i can bounce this i'm good to go and i miss i'm like oh so yeah, I thought that was going to be the momentum for the rest of the come up And then Bear Soul, double fucking, what's it called? Um, Bloodthirsty, no prisoners, kill, still kill me. I didn't have many guys. Yeah, like that's a, that was the scary thing about Sanji's deck, is that it could, he just needs to get that one strike, and he can generate so much. I've seen him do it throughout this tournament. And once this, yeah, once the cards in his hand went down, I'm like, all right, there's no way he can kill all three of me on my card. <laughs> I'm yeah, safe. The big thing, if I'm not drawing multi-wound event, it, it's, really, it's a really uphill battle. Yeah, that's kind of what hurt you game, uh, the second game, though. Mm. You had the double no prisoners, he double wheel of fate, or yeah. wheel of death, and you just didn't I only have missed, that multi yeah, I only missed one of the strikes, but still. Yeah, you rolled. You rolled great. Yeah. You had the great bonuses, just that. Yeah, I mean, if you draw monkey pose a buckler, we're going oh, to game been, three. Been <laughs> that's, that's game three. <laughs> that's 100%. There we go. So, Fat Kid, how does it feel to finally actually win one of these things? Uh, about time. Yeah. Forgot how to win. I know you did. That but. puts Fakin up in the standings, though. Wasn't he number two? Yeah, well, he's definitely yeah, number one, one by Chris. now, yeah. I was down by three points to Chris, and now... With, with, with my solid up. two and three versus his win? Yeah. I, I, I think there's been a new leader on the board. <laughs> <laughs> so. Start putting weight classes. Listen, kids, when you watch, you watch his, my streams, you watch it every every night, this is what happens. Fakin doesn't happens watch you. my stream. Get out of here. Every time every I... Day. I was showing a coworker. I'm like, look, this guy, he's really good. <laughs> Want to learn to play World and watch his video? He's like, leave me alone. I'm like, I'm, I'm just telling you. <sighs> like every time Fat Kid gets his uh, opponent announcement, 
wait, okay, I'm playing this. Wait, what's the guy playing? I go, fuck it. I played the guy a few rounds ago. Like, so? It's like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> it's all on YouTube. It's a video. And then he... I think I've gifted enough subs to just get book report read for me. I mean, written for me. You, you, there's still a card that you won on the raffle that you still haven't told me what it is. So you, it's still technically not yours. What raffle? What are you talking about? Remember? <laughs> you no. won a I... raffle. <laughs> you won a raffle. You won a pack. After you like, you saw the first two go, and then you left because you were hungry and wanted to play Call of Duty. And then out came a sneak attack pack, and it went to you, and you pulled a really good card of one. But I'm not giving it to you because you're not there. So you have to tell me what that card is. And what's, then it's what's that? Sneak attack. <laughs> He's just yeah. gonna start fucking guessing. And, right, and, I, and I need video. you to 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 be very specific. Like the can I get? Is it a rare? It, did I pull a no, rare? Yes. A fucking okay. Okay. Can I get one hint? No. Just go watch the video. Skip to the end. No, that's too much. He doesn't want to All give right, me so a good card. Would I play it ever in a deck? Yes. Can a cleric play it? No. Huh? I know for a fact that you have played this card. So you think about that. Because right now we're talking about giveaways, right? Maybe we should just move to that. And I'm just so glad that camera's working. Cause the I'm going to go with Carnal Broman. Yeah, uh, it is not <laughs> Carnal Broman. Um, so you'll have to think about it more. Or go watch the video. Anyone Never. who's watching, by the way, you can go check out whatever Someone video. Someone watch the video and let me know. <laughs> you can go watch that video for him. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Ooh. All right, let's see, Wyvern. Please let that work. Wyvern has uh, redeemed some channel points to do some stuff. Right. And I'm waiting for the. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you guys are hearing these things as they pop up because I don't hear it on my end. Hopefully, you guys are hearing these new sound alerts. If not, they're going to be very delayed. Right. There we go. Let's see. There we go. Everyone's these are just sounds of like you just eating a cheeseburger. Nah. Okay. Cool. You uh, like? <laughs> it's just. Oh, not... What is it? Let me hear. You, you guys have to be on my stream so you, you won't hear it. But um, you know what you can do? You can watch the. <laughs> You can watch the VOD and you'll hear the oh, new the sound alerts. alerts? We got, I always watch the VOD. We got new sound alerts, baby, and the channel has just realized it. There we go. We see someone who summoned Fat Kid, and we see, oh, here we go. We got another summoned Fat Kid. There we go. There you go. I figured, I didn't know how many points you all had because it won't let me see, but I figured, let's add some fun stuff for you guys. Yeah. Um, and we're already getting the rigged. Oh, wait, I can't. Wait, how do I hear this? Uh, you, you'd have to be on. Are you on my Twitch right now? <laughs> yuck, yuck. Oh, look at this. Bitch is summoning Larry. Yes. You getting the yuck, yucks. There we go. No, I went to summon me. Oh, Captain summoned you. I don't know if you're hearing it or not. Chat, you're all hearing all these alerts, right? Rigged. <laughs> Please tell me. Yuck, yuck. Uh, there we go. Summoning the Laughing Larry. Look at the Laughing Larry's a hit. All right. So, all right, cool. <laughs> what have I started? Rigged. It's true, Wyvern. Nobody noticed it until you started like, hmm, what does this button do? <laughs> but I appreciate that nonetheless, and we'll have more. Uh, ah, that's great. There you go, fat kid. He now knows. <laughs> now he's going to start watching your stream. There you go. Never. So anyway, as a thank you for letting rigged. us uh, come on in. Yeah, here we go. It's definitely rigged. Yes, we know rigged cat. Thank you. Um, we give away a pack to our, usually our opponent, but since I'm not good enough to make the cut here, uh, we're going to give one away to each of our finalists. So uh, Fat Kid, as the so, winner, you get, to, send it to Bobby. you get to choose between Logan or Crun. And whichever rigged. pack is underneath, we're opening it for you. And then uh, Sandy's going to get the other one. And then, chat, you all, I all got something for you as well. Um, Ooh, I'll go with... Gift to the sub. Thank you, Midge. I'll go Kron because I've been drinking that green Kool-Aid like a motherfucker. Oh, there you go. You, you, you are betraying your former, you know, your man over there. <laughs> yuck, yuck. So, let's see. Kron has gifted you... It's all right, Logan. We've had enough time together. A counterattack. And Sandy's pass nice. will be Assassin Strike. So, we'll open up Sandy's second. We've got the fat kids one first. Hopefully you guys can actually hear me, because my shit was very far away. But anyway, in chat, let me just also make sure. 
What do we got here? Okay, cool. I just want to make sure the giveaway is working. Because we'll get you guys some stuff. Wardrobe has 50k channel points. There you go. That's, That's it? I don't know how many channel points you all have. <laughs> it doesn't tell 56, me. 56,000. And I just randomly heard a, a dice roll. I don't know what's wrong with my alerts. Sometimes it's delayed and just randomly comes in. As long as you guys are hearing the new ones that, that you pay for. <laughs> there we go. There's still more to come. Don't worry. I got some ideas. Is the summon faggot the one where you use your Zod as a broom? That's the picture, though. Yeah. Is that the picture? <laughs> and it's like, the, the sound is me scaring him. <laughs> In the fucking game. It, it, uh, laser tag. Yeah, that that is Midge during. Uh, there you go, Midge during laser tag at Gen Con. Let's see what comments you got in Counterattack Racket. Ah, uh, illusionary form. Xanthrelis. Uh, some Deverinium that. Wait, uh, whose pack is this? Yours. Yours. I should, Ooh, all right. I should probably also share my screen with you guys so you can see it happening in the flesh. I just jumped onto your stream. I do appreciate that, but now there's no delay. Uh, Porthos, Yay, still chant. No there you go. So we got a lightning iron, which has the same art as a rare, if I'm not mistaken. Or is that the rare? What the fuck? No, that is the rare. What the fuck? All right. <laughs> <laughs> we got bamboozled. I want this pack. Well, there's your uncommons. That is weird. Good arm. Act like you've been here before, Rissy. I've, I have been to counterattack land before. But Rigged. Maybe there's more rares. Actually, I want this pack. Keep going. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Nothing to lose. Now the Calyx. <laughs> Stones of Corrosion. Stones is of rare. Corrosion. Busted. All right. <laughs> Let's go. So. That's a keeper. Anyway. You got a Garm. Yeah, Garm is a really good uh, uncommon. You got a Garm. Lightning Iron was good when it came out. Let, let, let's read Lightning Iron. Let's see. <laughs> uh, lightning iron plus one attack level seven cleric weapon three charges spend react before a character suffers wounds remove a charge token from lightning's iron reduce the wounds by one so uh oh, it's broken <laughs> it's definitely not good now but when it came out with crap, it, yeah yeah it was good that is true I, I this car did see play in early ce for sure yeah it, it, it easily like I think when the next set came out, you stopped running it. But when that when this set came out, you ran it. This is not unique. So if you have multiple clerics, you can just drop that on them. And yeah, like even like Cardinal Broman's equipping it, like all sorts of stuff. But now it's not good. It was mainly using dwarves, I would say. Uh, just, yep, with craft. Yep, exactly. It would craft. There you go. You get even more charges. Um, Twenty saying it's a winner. The whole pack is good. Uh, it's not a winner. No. I don't think so. I don't think it's good enough for its time to be a winner. If it was foil, it'd be a winner. Some cards are good for a little bit, and they dominated, and they became shit. This was never that good. Rip it. I'm this saw this yeah. card. I am not ripping. He it. just wants the level two or the level two dev right there. You want the Porthos? I can give you a Porthos. No, rip Porthos. Jonesy, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wait. This card can start in a, in a hundred card. Um. Fucking Master K, you could start this. Fat, fat, <laughs> fat is going to be going yeah, for I his. I actually thought was talking right there. I thought that was Gragas. Yeah, no, you could start this. 76, per 76 cards is the optimal cards for the best deck ever. How do you do that? How do you sound just like him? <laughs> that's, a, that's a talent. I used to be an actor. Fat is going to be God. going for his morning coffee at the Starbucks in Jersey City uh, over in the uh, New Corpophonia area. And then a. Porthos still chance gonna come flying out of nowhere and just hit him right in the dome. <laughs> guy I work with today must have been like, "What the fuck's wrong with this guy?" I'm looking around, I was looking all over <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah. to, to to work in an area with uh, random fucking encounters it is an interesting life, my friends. I will tell you that. Um, Sanji's also an interesting encounter from across the dock. Seeing him on his smoke breaks. Speaking of Sanji's. We got a assassin. Yeah, strike. buddy. We got an assassin strike pack coming your way. Let's see if Let's you're. Go foil your scar the elder. You may not have. Oh no, he was good and evil, right? Won yeah. the match, but you might win the pack off. So we'll see. That's uh, my master plan. I gotta see. I'm not gonna fuck up the card trick again. So <laughs> I'm gonna do something. Okay, cool. There's a rare at the very back. So 
I'm going to do that. Rare goes down. Let's assume that these are uncommons. Cray. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's see the commons, hopefully. All right, cool. This is an uncommon, so that's a, this is not going to work. <laughs> Invisibility potion. Basalt gargoyle. Heart's broken. Do you have two rares? Oh, oh baby. You do not. Oh, baby. Oh. Because what I thought was the rare was a Kaziah Lore's dagger. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Broke up. Black Journal. Black Journals is the winner. Hand Axe. Black Journal, a card that Sanji tries to shove into every deck. Like, wait a minute. I just need to be a Necro, right? Like, let's just make this, the other, I can make this work. I can the make other this day, work. you tried to put it in a good character deck. <laughs> I have a plan. Blue Willow Wand. And Yemen. Yemen's art is cool. I like that art. Speaking of cool art, we got Timuk. Timuk. Oh, gee. Uh, Battle Rage. We want Timuk and Fatraka. And Vampiric Touch. So now it comes down to... This is the actual rare. It's not the Kazai. Senek the Poisoner. Senek the... You would wish Senek on this man? Wow. I want to wish it. I'm just, I just think that's what it is. That was the first foil I ever pulled. Chat, what do you think's gonna happen? What, what, what card are we looking at? Let's let's see. Come on. A, a lot of shitty first foil out of or first rare. We a foil for a shitty foil first rare. Oh, Senek is a shitty foil first rare. Is what you're saying, Thacker? Yeah. No, I said I don't remember my first rare or foil, ever. Yeah, I don't remember either. I remember my first great cleave. I'll never forget it. You can never forget your first great cleave. Everybody remembers That's their cool. first warlord, though, right? Black Tom. There you go. Black Tom for Bobby. Oh, my God. Black Tom. All right. Captain calling for a rack. Ooh. I'll take a full rack. Just flip the fucking card. Fact, what was your first <laughs> warlord? I don't remember. Could you pull Uthanak? No. I don't think so. Oh, wait. No, he used a saga, I think. I went Sir Ron till Duchess, then I built Uthanak from the ground up for like a year. There you go. And see, no, I don't you... remember actually pulling a warlord. I played Wraith for like 12 years. You played Wraith, right? <laughs> yeah. You can move back and equip this card with Wraith. Ooh, Ooh not bad. Nightmare. 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 Cloak. You just yeah. got, you got to have the ranks and you can, Wraith can go put this on. <laughs> but uh, I saw this. This is also a card that I know Sanji would love to run. But uh, It's absolutely a Yeah, Uber Rogues, not an armor. Yep, it's not an armor. Look at that. Let's let's read this one up. So it's a level ten rogue item with no traits. <laughs> oh my god, the way his word is funny. Uh, so it's plus two attack, plus three AC. It gives you plus four stealth skill. That's what it's how it's worded. Plus four stealth skill. What is that? Beautiful. I don't even remember that ever being like that. Was stealth even a thing in Assassin's Strike? I, I think, yeah, feats were introduced in... Uh... They didn't always give plus four stealth? I thought they were... When were they well, I don't remember that. I mean, it says stealth skill right on the card. Unless this is like a, a like a fake fat kid pack, and, and like I'm going to peel this back, and it's a picture of me on it. I don't know. Let me check. No, it's a, it's a real card. Oh, no, the other one says to sell plus four. It was a nest of yeah. vipers, was it? Assassin's Strike and CE. It was yeah. reprint and CE. This rogue gains that. plus five attack and inflicts an additional wound while performing a melee strike against a spent character. So it gives you black steel oh, dagger no. stealth. Really big black steel. Oh, really my. good. I mean, it's, it's not no, an the armor. Card's, card's phenomenal. If you get it on, it's fucking mm -hmm. bomb. Chat, what are you thinking? What do we got here? Uh, oh, everyone's talking about their first warlord. I like this. Look at that. We got we have Rack. We got Crun. We got Sir Robert. Mine was Slayer the Unkind. And Jawanski's heart just that grew tracks. three three sizes that day. It's like, I was like, oh, I pulled a dwarf and another dwarf, and that was it. Yeah, you know, it was like, wait a minute, there's a warlord <laughs> named Slayer. Are you kidding me? Like, let's start raining blood. Let's do it. Like, <laughs> like that that was what it was about. And then I went to the my next warlord was Duchess Bremen, and Duchess Bremen was my warlord for like a year until everybody in the store, other than me and the the, the laughing Larry, which you all can summon, by the way. With channel points. It was just me and Larry would play a, a random game of Warlord every now and then. And then just one day, we were like, you know what? We want to stop playing Magic. Let's play that Warlord game that you guys are always playing. And then just like 30 people converted in one day. And it was a beautiful day. And the rest is history. 
This is why... That is a beautiful thing. This is why... I don't even remember how I started playing Wula. Yeah, this is why you guys have to deal with most of Jersey now. Bobby would probably still be playing. You, 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 you can avoid the Forge Cake, you know, thundering that would be coming. But... Because he was in Central Jersey, which doesn't exist, guys. Um, anyway, I'm leaving behind a black journal. We got another Assassin Strike pack that is going over to one of our viewers. So if you would like to uh, ha want us to open this pack on your behalf, and if it's a good card, we're going to send it to you. Oh, yeah, by the way, Sandy, yeah, this is a win. I'm going to throw yeah. it in, 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 into the stack of envelope that I owe you. This one's just a, it's an actual card box. <laughs> you know, instead of throwing the cards at Fat Kid, I should probably just walk over to, to your restaurant and just hand them to you. Um, so one day I will do that, Thanks. I promise. I didn't realize you were so close to Sanji and why you haven't just like thrown yeah, them across. Put them in like funny. a freaking paper boat and just sail them over there. <laughs> I mean, I could walk around the other side and not go into the water. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and that, that boat might disintegrate in that water. Yeah. There's been some fun things found in that water. Uh, I'm going to have watched. Were you walk. working there when they found the body? Yes, I was. And okay. I was, <laughs> up on the 12th floor of my building, able to see. It's like, oh, what do they have wrapped in that, like, towel thing? Uh-oh. It's a Christmas tree, Chris. It's <laughs> a Christmas tree. I was trying to tree. leave a work meeting. They wouldn't let me leave because they found the body. They're yeah. like, no one's allowed to leave the area. I'm like, well, great. I'm trapped on a pier now. Here we go. Chad already knows it's rigged. But just so you don't – just so you guys can see that it's not rigged, let's get this bad boy up. So there you go. If you see your name on the left side, you are eligible because you have said something the last 15 minutes. And then you have Fat Kid coming in here looking for second packs like – if this thing chooses him, then yes, you know I'll, I'll start throwing in some uh, some free alerts for you guys. I haven't won a pack in a while. Yes, you yeah. have. <laughs> His last oh, stream. No, it doesn't count if I stop watching. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It I don't see it. All right, guys. I, I I think we have enough in here. We're ready to go. So let's go ahead and roll this up. Let's go once. Let's go twice. And the winner is. Oh, we got rain. What's going on, rain? The reason why I am not in the cut. He and someone who is the proud owner of the Sorsha art that uh, will eventually get mailed to him. I think he'll get that before Sanji gets his cards, though. A but, deck rain builds fair. Nice. Uh, definitely before the Germans get their box. Yes. Especially Remember, I forget who won it. <laughs> Mar Marco is the, but Marco. This is the thing. I got to yeah. send Marco an art print, too, when him and Sanji eventually... Uh, play it out so i can't even send it until then it's just the the box got bigger and more expensive we'll, we'll make it happen though don't worry marco and don't worry sly too because sly is the keeper of this box and he's like every time he has a chance to mention it he's like hey vac remember when you were supposed to uh do something for me it's like yes i do so there it is look at that amanda you hearted you hearted this rain win into existence is that how this happened there you go all right, we'll see. Rain, let's see what you got. Let's hope you pull something so that I can just kind of throw this into the art print uh, envelope. And I'm going to try and not... Was, did Acid Breath come out in Assassin's Strike? Acid Breath did, I think. That was my first rare. My first foil rare was Acid Breath. Look at that. <laughs> Acid Breath is such a cool card. Look at that. It keeps saying like that Amanda creep. is a returning chatter. I don't know why. What is going on? <laughs> Like, 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 I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but like on my stream, it's like, it just keeps calling Amanda a returning chatter. Look, we know she's a returning chatter. She uses this to stream snipe. We've already been through this, guys. All right, let's see. What do we got? I'm going to go finding these cards. <laughs> I'm going to show this. Here's another Kazaya lore <laughs> stagger. That thing is very sneaky. All right. So it's... The card's like, good. Luckily, I don't have a box of Assassin's Strike to have to worry about, but okay. Okay. Let's put that down there. Let's put these uncommons down there. Starting off with already gotten a rare with that uh, good old Kazaya Lorestager. Another black journal. Magaline. There's a good common. Uh, Should have been a Thor. <laughs> Sir, I don't know. Jowanski, tell us. Sir Jowanski. Improved, uh, improved initiative. Improved initiative. 
he's uh, related to Guinevere. Training <laughs> at the guild. Can you tell Greg to get out of this chat? Seriously. Avalanche. There we go, Bobby. Go ahead. Avalanche. There we go. Uh, then we got Invisibility Potion, which I didn't even remember existed. 6 AC, look at that. Uh, we got a Vital Spot. And we got some Azure Flame Keeper. Look at that. A little Free Kingdom love. But all that matters is the rare. Chat, what are you feeling? What do you think Rain's getting? If it's if Acid Breath is in this set, I think it's Acid Breath. You're calling Acid Breath? I'm calling Acid Breath. Fat and Sanji, what are you guys feeling? What do you think it is? What set is this? This is Assassin's Strike. Assassin's Strike. Have you, oh, you, you don't even watch the streams that you're on. Let me let me see. <laughs> like Azure involved with them. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, oh, some good rares. Baroness Lucana. What is, like, Joanne's, he just made up a card that he's going to pull. I'm going to go Shield of the Ancient Kings. Ooh. Ooh you're wishing that on him? I'm All not right. wishing it. I just have a feeling. <laughs> a lot of good cards in set. Um, yeah, Assassin's Strike is very good. Too. <laughs> I'll say Portable Hole. Portable Hole, though. That would, that's Ooh, that would be, that's like the busted Portable Hole, too. The one that had no rank restriction. I'll give him the good one. All right, Rain is saying that 20, he's saying 20 bucks. I'm pulling a whirlwind. Wow, look at that. That would be a, a gap like trash card. Or I hope he's talking about the dev. Premonition, that's a good pick. All right. I would say that you all are wrong. Because I already saw it. And uh, I might have to mute some mics here. Because Bobby's about to get real happy. Let's go. We got ourselves a rack iron bow. Oh. It's the best non barbarian warlord ever. There we go. I saw, like, I was looking for the rare, and I saw that it was, you know, a dwarf-bordered rare, and I was like, oh, my God, is this Zod with 3 HP and 7 skill? Or with 7 skill? And then I saw it wasn't 3 HP. It was 4. I was like, oh, I know who that is. Well, Zod, Zod was in a, either, uh, what's your The Saga. Oh, yeah. oh, he was in Saga? Oh, yeah, when we opened the box. He was in box, Saga that's what it was. Black yeah. Knives. But I, don't, I think he was a starter in Black Knives. I think, yeah, I remember we pulled them out of a saga pack because I know Celtic or Celtic. I gotta remember. Yeah. Right, some, someone's running into the mic. I think it's back. Uh, this is the not, microwave thing. Yeah. I think we've pulled, I don't know if this is the second, this is definitely the second. This is the or second, the this rack, is the second yeah. rack. Because I know we pulled a foil I pulled, rack. Didn't I pulled we? a rack. Didn't we pull a foil rack though? I think so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I think this is the third rack. <laughs> Shit. Um, He's good. So level five. Good dwarf warlord fighter. Uh, plus nine, plus six, talk like 15 AC, plus seven skill, four HP. Um, dwarf warlord unique, lord of rock home, order until the end of turn, rack gains, plus four two. attack. What are you saying, Fackett? Plus order four attack. Two personal pizzas. He's ordering two personal pizzas. All right. So order until the end of turn, you get two personal pizzas, and his melee strikes inflict an additional wound. Rack suffers one wound. The ability can be used once per turn. That was the long way of saying once per turn. Uh, that is definitely a W. Any warlord, oh, yeah. any warlord is a W. The only there's only one warlord that we pulled that was a loss, and that was uh, Fat Scar. That did not. <laughs> that's not a loss. That, that, <laughs> the best win I have ever gotten. Yeah. Best part about Rack is that his ability isn't a cost, so you just heal when he uses it. That's true. So good. There we go. So we got a W. Yep, we got a rack on there. He should be a barbarian. Absolutely. Nice rack you got there. Uh, I'm sure Faki would agree with you, Rain. Uh, but yeah, that's a W. Let's go into uh, go into Rain. Luckily, I already have your address, and I will be sending that along with the source of art that I owe you. Um, but that will do it for us, uh, and that'll do it for Build a Warlord. Uh, so. Let's wrap up the stream. Uh, I would like to thank all of my guests. There's three of them. We got, first of all, congratulations to our champion, Mr. Robert Midgley. Well played with Fat Talk. 
Um, yeah, congrats, man. Definitely. You got you, you got Sarah. second last time to some scumbag, but you know you, you, you came back strong the next time and you got the W. So good job. Once I seen you not make the cut, I'm like, I'm in the clear. That's it. I'm in the clear. You can't use jokes that we made in the chat or any. <laughs> oh, did we? Probably. I don't know. Pretty sure Chris remember. said that. Like when I don't remember. That chat has a thousand messages a, a minute. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but uh, I'd also big congrats to Sangington, making it to the finals. So well thank done, you, dude! I was, I was really rooting you for broke you. Broke the seal because I, I, I was rooting for me too. I, I would love to see. I did, I did break the seal. Fat kids squirm a little bit more, but uh, it, it's fine. Uh, to, to your first finals and to many more. So yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Well done, thank you to my co-commentator, Mr. Robert Zabrowski, uh, aka mm-hmm. uh, Forge Cake, who hates being called Robert. Um. Thanks for coming on, bud. No, nah, it's no problem. It's always fun. Yep, it's very good to have a co-commentator doing all the talking while I'm trying to fix some streams in the back end, and I can just stay quiet. So appreciate that. Appreciate everybody who gifted subs. Midge, you're getting a second thank you. Jowanski, you're getting a thank you. Woodrow, I saw you sub, so thank you again. Thanks to everybody who came and hung out in the chat. Uh, speaking of hanging out in chat, uh, when we wrap up this stream... We're going to, uh, I haven't done this in a while. I don't think I've ever done this, actually. We're going to raid somebody. This is what, like, Twitch protocol is. But uh, member of oh, our yeah. community, Reclesis. Good old, remember, remember that guy? He, he loves the bad elf warlord. Yeah, he also loves doing speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves doing speed runs in Resident Evil. Uh, and he's live now. So I want us all to jump in there and just, you know, start saying random, just, just start yelling warlord cards at him. Let him remember that, hey, you remember Warlord? You remember that where you got your name from? You should come play with us some more. Because it's been a while since he's been on with us. So, uh, But either way, if you guys like seeing some Resident Evil speedruns, we're going to do that too. So, oh, yeah. So, But either way, we'll raid right. him. Uh, so sit tight, guys, and appreciate that. But that'll do it for us. So the raid will start soon. But uh, next stream, I'm going to do some stuff. I got some things brewing. And if not, it'll be in time for the online world championships. So one way or another, we will see you guys soon. Well, yeah, well, exactly. And it's like, how? Um, I'm going to initiate it. So maybe I should just do this now. What is this raid channel thing? Okay, pick a live channel. Did, did, did Reclesis go away? Uh, oh, my God. Did he turn off? Come on, he was on a second. Yeah, he's too, too good at speedrunning. Damn it, he, he was so fast. <laughs> He's not on anymore. Woodrow, please tell This was your idea. Uh, please tell me that it's not here. All right, well, Reclesis, wherever you are, wherever you are doing this, for some reason I cannot. They're coming. I can't raid you. Uh, Woodrow, he's literally <laughs> offline. Okay. Well, no, we can't raid anybody. Sorry, guys, no raid today. So your, your work here is done. <laughs> that's rigged. what it is oh shucks yeah there we go it's definitely rigged there it is let's i'm gonna probably lower the points on some of these things on these alerts hopefully they're not too annoying for you guys <laughs> but uh with that i'm gonna sign off for like the 900th time thank you everyone take it easy Bye bye <laughs> <laughs>